There's nothing better than a great book title. And in my first three episodes, I gave you examples. Here is my fourth rule of great book titles, subvert expectations. I love it when authors in their titles have really, really interesting juxtapositions, surprising combinations of words. So here are some examples of that. In fiction, Norman Mailer's debut novel, The Naked and the Dead. You don't normally see The Naked and the Dead together. Garcia Marquez, Love in a Time of Cholera. Again, not sure you would ever see those two things in the same book. With children, cloudy with a chance of meatballs. There's a wonderful sort of spiritual uh, self-help book called Zen and the Art of Motorcycle Maintenance. A work of history that was very popular recently, The Splendid and the Vile. I'm more interested in the splendid part than the vile part, but it's interesting that they're both in the same book together. From Simon & Schuster, there's a, a classic by one of our beloved authors, Doris Kearns Goodwin, Team of Rivals. Just three words. Look at the tension in that. Ali Brosh, the graphic memoirist, uh, her most recent book had a wonderful uh, subversive juxtaposition, Solutions and Other Problems. Years ago, there was a memoir published um, from Random House um, called Reading Lolita in Tehran. You wouldn't normally expect people to be reading Lolita in Tehran. So the tension and the conflict was right there in that title. And probably my favorite title that really gets at subverting expectations with a uh, with a juxtaposition uh, from the great comedian Steve Martin, A Wealth of Pigeons. I don't think I've ever seen A Wealth of Pigeons before, and uh, it completely captivated me. So uh, those are my most subversive titles. Um, I'd love to hear yours. Please write them in the comments section. Stay tuned for my next episode. And that is The Word According to Carl.